guys. Just got done uh, watching the Hudson Valley picker. I was just getting ready to go live when I seen his go on. So uh, I thought I'd wait a few minutes. Um, got some games to show you. I'm going to try to, uh, while I'm waiting for people to start coming in here, I'm going to uh, see if I can find out if I can open another page here. Because I want to be able to watch chats. And I think I figured out Hudson Valley Picker told me what to do to get it to come up. I think I figured out Hudson Valley Picker told me what to do to get it. That should work. Let's move that over here. Hey, cool. I can see comments for a change. Okay. Now, I, uh, that's weird seeing myself move like after I move. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, just sold a bag with 200 Scrabble tiles in it for 20 bucks. That was pretty good. Here's how I print my shipping. Just like that. I print it on uh, a thermal printer from UPS. And uh, no ink. No, I have to buy ink. And uh, you can get these uh, labels from UPS for free if you have an account with them. But uh, I bought uh, four boxes. It was like 12,000 labels from a uh, store in Decatur. So I, uh, I got plenty of labels. Labels are kind of expensive, the thermal. He gave me a big roll of labels, but they weren't thermal, so can't use those. So there we go. Scrabble tiles ready to go out. All right. Let's see. Hi, Juan. And uh, who else is there? Highland Picker. Hi, Tracy. Okay, last uh, Friday at the auction, I got this box of uh, Charlton Heston Bible. It's got VHS tapes, cassette tapes, and uh, there's a book in there too. So, I haven't looked those up yet, but I'm assuming they'll probably do pretty good. They're all still sealed. Okay. I got... Picked up the newlywed game. I wonder if uh, I have to wait till I come up. Hey, look, it's the right way on your guys' screen, but it's backwards on my screen. <laughs> I got Stratego. Now I had this game a long time ago, and uh, I've still got my original one, but this one was really get great condition, and uh, it was like. Less than 50 cents because it's half off. Here's what I got Salvation Army. It's Tripoli. E, and uh, it's got cards, and I'm probably going to put new cards with it because I've got decks of cards, and I don't feel like counting ones that came with it. So that's what that looks like. Box is in good shape. Nice to you to Picker, Ohio. I don't think I'm subscribed to you. Let me see. Nope. Well, I am now. Course operation. This one has, uh, I think this one has an extra. Yeah, this one has, this is the extra one with the ice cream cone in the head, the brain freeze. I picked that up because uh, the uh, the one the kids has is missing some pieces. But I might just put their pieces in that one since it's got that extra part. There's a Kadu. I've never played this game. I'm not really sure what this game is, but they seem to sell, so... And bingo. I don't know if you can tell, 
but I have been uh, working in here today. I got my mannequin set up over there, and I've been taking pictures. That's a big spotlight, and uh, that's a big pile of clothes, and there's a big pile there. <laughs> my heater. Um, this whole area back here, though, was, was all piled up, and I got that all cleaned out all the way to the floor. And these boxes back here, I got stuff in that was all over the place, so that stuff's all ready. So once I get this other stuff out of the way, then I can get to that stuff. Hey, Cripple Picker, hey, Paul. Oh, there was a new, uh, there was a new picker that, um, He's not got a whole lot of videos, but he's finding some cool stuff. He got some good concert shirts the other day. His name is uh, Matt. He's a uh, picker Matt. So go to. I'll put a link down below after after the uh, video is over. Here's a uh, Kerplunk. I had this game when I was a kid. I used to love playing it. This is a. Uh, some of these games I got because I bought the whole stack of games. So there's a Candyland. I think I've got about four or five candy lands. That shelf right there is all full of games. Got another Scrabble. <laughs> That's a ten dollar bill. I haven't counted those yet. I've got I think three more of these around here. Hey, a fellow. That was a fun game to play when I was younger. I'm not sure. I don't think this is a game. I guess it is a game. It's Mr. Potato Head. I haven't seen that game before, so I'm not sure what that one is. We got Apples to Apples to go. We got some Cutie Bugs. Cuties. Actually, I got Actually, got two Cutie Bugs. There was one in each stack. The games that I got. And then I got dominoes. And I got cheers. That was the last one in the a lot of games I got just picked up. So I haven't played this game before either, so I'll have to look this up and make sure everything's here for this. I got Wizard of Oz game too, but it's already over on the shelf. It's a Wizard of Oz trivia. It's in a big metal box. And uh, I think it was all there. Oh, I know. Excuse me just a minute. If you guys like, since I'm on games, pick these up. I got Sega CD Dracula, Echo, Jurassic Park, uh, Double Switch, I don't know what that one is, there's some uh, Sonic, Sega Classics, there's uh, The Adventure of Mighty Max. Northeast Ohio, close to Canton. Yep. I used to go to a gun show in Canton, Ohio with my uh, dad when I was younger. It was cool because I could go there and he'd always get me a beer. <laughs> Plus, it, it was neat to see everybody walking around and, and all the guns they had for sale. Uh, let's see. WF Raw, Royal Rumble. Bulls and uh, Blazers, Monopoly, RBI, NHL Hockey, Caesars Palace, uh, what's this one? Operation Europe, Alex, Access and Allies, got two of those. So that's my, uh, that's my Sega CD haul. I've sold some of these kind. If you see these and they're cheap, pick them up. Because I sold, uh, oh, what was the one I sold? One I went for about like a hundred and some dollars. It was uh, 
I don't think it was the Earthworm Jim one. I think the Earthworm Jim went for around 40, something like that. Or no, maybe that was when it went for 70. I'll have to look that up and do a haul thing on it. There's some other stuff I got to auction the other night. I got this Mother Teresa statue, three bucks. It's kind of neat. And I'm not sure what this is made out of, but it's really heavy. I'm thinking maybe it's alabaster. It's kind of hard to, oh, I guess you can see it. It's uh, pretty neat. The bottom looks like it was, uh, these are stickers we put on stuff at the auction for, to let us know who the consigner was. Yeah, let's take them things off because if I leave them on, they get stuck. Anyways, if I don't know if you can tell, but there is uh, it's ground off on the bottom, so that kind of makes me wonder if it's alabaster. But it's super heavy. I can tell you how much it weighs. Almost six pounds for that little statue. So that's pretty neat. Well, I don't know what else to show you right now. I could show you. Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting feedback. I could show you some, uh, some more stuff I picked up. It's mostly mostly clothes. I don't know where the other bags went. Uh, let's see, this is a Fieldmaster shirt. It's a pretty nice one. These Land's End shirts sell pretty good. This is a flannel. It's Land's End. That was uh, $3. I spent a little more than I usually do this time when I went to Salvation Army because they had a bunch of stock they just put out. So a lot of the stuff was stuff that I guess I normally miss because it gets picked over before I make it there. This is a Gap shirt. It's a flannel. This is Reebok Sport. Living large. Here's a neat coat I found. It's baby fat, and it's in great condition. It's got sleeves that zip off of it. It's, uh, I don't know if you can tell, it's gold. Okay, this one is a rustler, and it's got the uh, pearl snaps on it. It's red, white, and blue. Here's a chaps from La Ralph Lauren. Really nice. This one doesn't even feel like it's ever been worn. Here's another chaps Ralph Lauren. I find a lot of chaps shirts and I find a lot of polo shirts, but they have to like have nothing wrong with them for me to buy them unless they're Unless it was like some really unique type shirt or something. Otherwise, I don't buy them if they got a little spot or stain or snag or any of that. I picked up this old skateboard. That's pretty cool. It's a freeformer. The last one of these I had, actually it was just like this one, yellow. It went to Australia and the guy paid uh, $40 for the skateboard. And... Uh, I forget how much it was. It was priority shipping because it was five pounds. But um, he paid it, so it went. Here's something that sells around Christmas time, except I forgot I had it. This is a uh, Douglas fir singing Christmas tree. And uh, look them up on eBay. I think they sell pretty good. Got a pair of pink boots. Oh, speaking of boots, I got these at the auction Friday. 
These are Harley Davidson. They're size 10. I haven't polished them up yet, but those are pretty cool. Very little wear on them. They're dirty, but like Nick Burns says, they can get that dirt if I don't get around <laughs> scrubbing it off. I think he said he was selling some shoes that had dog poop on them. I got a little, uh, uh, what is it, Carly, Eric Carl, Caterpillar. I got another five -all. They had they had these uh, earplugs, whole box, box of two hundred, brand new, sealed for uh, ten bucks. I see people selling uh, sets of ten of those for a couple bucks on eBay. Yeah, the boots. I'm I'm thinking that they'll probably. Um, the, the boots probably go for, uh, about a hundred bucks, anywhere from 80 to a hundred. Paul says videos blurry. Yeah, I know. I don't understand it because it's sharp on my side. Let's see. Yeah. Caught me live. <laughs> Paul says I need more inventory. Wait till you see that. I'm, I've got a video. I have it's still on my camera. I shot a video earlier before I started cleaning this mess up. And uh, wait till you guys see that. You think that what you can see behind me is a mess. <laughs> Plus, I've got about 50,000 other things everywhere. I've got two sheds out behind my garage that are uh, full of tubs. I got a bunch of Lionel train track and I sold all the cars, I think. Well, I got a killing on that, on that Lionel stuff. I bought that last uh, year and uh, they had uh, they had a whole bunch of cars they had listed separate and I bought a bu most of those and, and I think I got all the transformers. But then they, the upstairs of this, it was a small house. It was like one of those Sears uh, kit houses but the, the whole upstairs was uh, nothing but uh, train tracks run all around the sides. There was double track run around the sides. There was tracks run inside and, and just everywhere. And then there was boxes of track. And uh, there was bridges. And they sold the entire lot upstairs as, as uh, just one lot was the whole upstairs. And uh, I got that. And, uh, gosh, it, I sold that stuff for a month or more. Made some really good profit on it. Hi, this is Bill Stoner from Bill and Andy's Needful Things. Hi, guys. Hi. Time for a Goodwill haul. Hi. Time for another freaking video. Hi, guys.